Greetings fellow Whovians and welcome to Timeline Review. We've got some more news coming out of San Diego Comic Con this weekend. Is it as big as Robert Downey Jr. returning to Marvel as Doctor Doom? Maybe not, but it's still worth talking about. So last week it was announced that Doctor Who and Star Trek will be teaming up together as part of International Friendship Day and the first Intergalactic Friendship Day, uh, which sparked quite a lot of rumours of perhaps a crossover is coming in uh, either some form of television or other form of media. Well, it is happening. We are going to get a crossover of sorts. The crossover will be in the form of a mobile app or mobile app. So here is the full write-up. Be a part of a historic crossover between Eastside Games, Doctor Who Lost in Time and Star Trek Lower Decks mobile games from the 1st of August. Eastside Games Group is excited to announce an unprecedented crossover between Star Trek and Doctor Who, where two beloved sci-fi universes collide in a new story specially made for Intergalactic Friendship Day. The worlds of Star Trek and Doctor Who will intertwine, bringing, uh, bringing fans an exhilarating story that spans across galaxies and time in the two mobile games Star Trek Lower Decks and Doctor Who Lost in Time. This epic crossover will be brought to life in a limited time event in both the Doctor Who Lost in Time mobile game and Star Trek Lower, De Lower Decks mobile game starting on August the 1st. Fans will be treated to the same thrilling story experienced from two unique perspectives. Head of BBC Games Kevin George said that we are beyond excited to bring together these iconic franchises for a crossover event that fans have only dreamed about. This collaboration offers a unique opportunity to explore a brand new storyline where the Doctor and Star Trek characters can work together. Player will experience the story of a mysterious space-time ripple that throws the Doctor on board the Star Trek Lower Decks USS Ceratos, whilst Lieutenant Brad Bommelier and Bommler, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Ensign Beckett Mariner find themselves thrust into the Doctor Who universe. With the ripple disrupting the very fabric of reality, the Doctor must join forces with the resourceful crew of the Ceratos, while Bommelier, Bommler and Mariner team up with the legendary River Song. Together, they race against time to repair the ripple and set things right. Download the games today and prepare for the ultimate sci-fi crossover event of the summer. Uh, yes, you obviously can download those on any mobile app, I'm assuming. I'll put a link in the description below of this write-up from Doctor Who News TV, uh, which will also have links to those apps if you wish to play those games. So, um, yeah, it's not really... Um, I'm, I'm not the most hardcore gamer. I probably won't be playing this one, but it's an interesting crossover nonetheless, uh, partic particularly um, the Doctor Who universe teaming up with Lower Decks, partic you know, specifically Star Trek Lower Decks. It's a show that I've been told to watch over and over again. Um, so I recommend that you check it out as well. Um, I think I will actually after this video, I think I will start watching a couple of episodes because it's supposed to be really, really good. And I do always like the the posters for the launching of each series of uh, Lower Decks with the uh, sort of take on the classic movie posters from the uh, original series of Star Trek. Now in this write-up, it does say it's unprecedented. It's, I'll, I'll kind of say it's a little bit of a uh, of a stretch of the uh, of the truth there because we do have Star Trek and Doctor Who crossing over before in the form of the comics. I know there's a 11th Doctor out there teaming up with the crew of the uh, Star Trek Next Generation uh Interesting in the write-up that it says this is an unprecedented event of this uh, crossover. Well, that's kind of not true. We have had a crossover between Star Trek and Doctor Who before with the 11th Doctor uh, teaming up with the crew of Star Trek The Next Generation to fight the Borg. I know there's, I'm sure there's a comic out there with the 4th Doctor with the original series crew, the Kirk and Spock era of Doctor of Star Trek, I should say. Um, so, yeah, but it's still a, a, an interesting crossover. What I found even more interesting was on the Star Trek YouTube channel. Uh, again, I'll put a link in the description below. There was a, what they're calling a teaser trailer of uh, the Friendship is Universal. So they're using lots of clips from Star Trek across all the series of Star Trek 
and Doctor Who, uh, mainly the um, the main sort of series of Doctor Who, so the, the modern era of Doctor Who. No classic uh, clips was used on that one, which is it's a bit of a shame, really. But it is a really nice trailer. I can't I can't deny that. It was really good. I do recommend that you check that out as well. Is that going to lead into something more? Because we've still got this uh, panel between Russell T. Davis, uh, obviously the Doctor Who showrunner, and Alex Kurtzman, who is the showrunner for Star Trek. So whether anything else more comes out of that panel uh, when that gets released um, during the San Diego Comic-Con um, weekend remains to be seen. But uh, like I said, it does grow scope into... Um, into these crossovers uh, I think sort of intellectual properties is going to be a very difficult thing to sort of navigate uh, if they were ever going to do something like this also D Davis did say in the um, in the Doctor Who panel yesterday that I would love for something like this to happen I do feel though that with this uh, mobile game being launched for August and this this huge trailer it, you know it's not a cheap trailer to make um, for the uh, Star Trek and Doctor Who that's on the Star Trek YouTube channel. I don't know. I feel that they they might be pushing for something a bit more. It, again, remains to be seen. I think it's just that's just my opinion. Um, and I would say the the reactions to this has been a bit mixed. Um, some are absolutely loving that there's going to be you know a potential crossover, and some are just absolutely not. Um, if it was me, if there was going to be any type of crossover between Doctor Who and Star Trek, I think placing it in lower decks is going to be way more sort of realistic and achievable um, rather than a, a live action story. Um, I think that's something that can just be a bit of fun, nothing too serious, nothing that's going to break canons in both universes and both galaxies. But yeah, something that could be quite amusing for fans that are going to enjoy this well, can can have a look and, and see. But obviously, like I said, we've got the comics out there. I'm definitely going to have to track those down and, and give them a read. I'm really fascinated, particularly the 11th Doctor teaming up with the Next Generation crew. But let me know in the comments below what do you think of this potential crossover? Will you be playing the mobile game? And do you think there is scope? for a crossover with Star Trek and Doctor Who. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, share and subscribe. Hit the close bell for more notifications. Come say hello and follow me on Facebook and X. And do check out my other fantastic Doctor Who related content on the Time Wine Review TikTok page. And of course, right here on the Time Wine Review YouTube channel. And in celebration of intergalactic friendship, live long and prosper.